Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here, uh, bringing you a new video. All right, so uh, there's a lot of different ways to set up a uh, MQTT broker for Home Assistant. Several people have been asking about uh, how to set up MQTT and what I need to do to get that working with Home Assistant. So you can use a, a third-party MQTT broker like Mosquito or Mosca. Um, but there's also one built into Home Assistant. So if you don't need any special features or anything uh, as far as a special configuration goes, it is literally the easiest thing to set up in Home Assistant. You can use just the default settings and everything would work great. Uh, so I thought I would go ahead and run through how to set that up for Home Assistant. So there's really only two steps to this tutorial. I'm going to show you how to add the MQTT component to Home Assistant, which is basically your MQTT broker. And I'll go over all of the uh, default settings uh, that, that'll be applied uh, just by setting it up this way. Uh, secondly, we're gonna add a MQTT light to our Home Assistant configuration as well. And then lastly, of course, uh, I'll kind of show you what that looks like in action, uh, you know, at least a little bit. So let's get started. We are going to start by adding our MQTT component uh, to Home Assistant. So we're going to edit our configuration.yaml file, sudo vi configuration.yaml. And I'll just kind of scroll down here, find a open spot where I can add this in here. And literally all we have to type in is MQTT colon. That's it. And by default, uh, again, I'm going to show you here what the default uh, settings look like for that. Uh, like I said, if you don't need anything special for uh, NQTT at all for Home Assistant, then this is literally all you need. It will work out great. No problems at all. Sh everything should work fine. Um, like As you can see here, here are the default settings. Uh, your username, of course, will be Home Assistant. Your password will be your API key that you already use for Home Assistant, so that makes it nice. Um, protocol, I think, by default is 3.1, which should work out great for majority of things you'll be doing in Home Assistant. Uh, de default port is uh, 1883. So again, um, these settings should work out fine for the majority of your MQTT needs in Home Assistant. Just to go ahead and show you that it does actually work, let's move on to the next step. We're gonna add a MQTT light into uh, our configuration as well. So I have a Sonoff uh, running Tasmoda firmware that I'm gonna add in down here at the bottom. It runs in my office. I'm just going to call it MQTT for our platform, give it a name, we'll just say Office Lights, this will be the command topic that we already have configured on our uh, Sonoff, so mine is uh, let's see, Sonoff slash CMND slash Office Light slash Power. And of course, the power has to be in all caps for mine. That's just the way it's set up. The state topic is uh, basically the same. We'll say Sonoff slash STAT slash Office Light slash Power, which of course is also in all caps. We'll go ahead and list the uh, payload on, which will be uh, on in all caps. And the payload off, which of course for me is off in all caps. And I want the retain to be true. It just means uh, it will keep whatever uh, setting I have in case we restart home system or anything like that. Once we do all that, we'll go ahead and exit and save, and we can restart Home Assistant for those changes to take effect.
Give that a second to come back up. And lastly, let's just kind of take a look and see what that looks like in action. On the left side, there's of course our Home Assistant front end. On the right, that is our uh, Sonoff running Tasmoda. Just gonna kind of show you what that looks like whenever you turn the on switch in Home Assistant. As you can see, it also turns on on the Sonoff. And of course, vice versa, if I turn off on the uh, Sonoff, You can see there it is, it goes off in Home Assistant as well. So obviously they're synced up, everything with the MQTT is working correctly. That's the end of the video. Like I said, this is probably the easiest thing to set up in Home Assistant. Um, literally nothing to it. We'll do a, just a quick run through as to what all we set up in Home Assistant here. Uh, for starters, we of course added our MQTT component, which was super easy. Uh, second, we added in a MQTT light uh, switch there just so that we uh, have that to test with. And then of course lastly, I showed you what that looked like in action. Alright guys, I hope this video helps. I uh, hope uh, if you're having issues with MQTT that this uh, definitely answered any questions you might have. Um, as always, if you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please hit me up in the comments below. And also, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, again, let me know in the comments and I will try to get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around.